Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jess and I do a lot of different styling videos, clothing hauls, beauty videos, and also vlogs. I am 31 weeks pregnant when this video goes live, so I am just obsessed with getting new clothes that make me feel good because I think at this point of the pregnancy I'm just like bored of my old clothes and I feel like my styles change quite a bit during pregnancy um so you guys can take advantage of this and <laughs> help me shop the new pieces from H&M this time. First off is this pink ribbed knit dress. I am definitely not keeping this one because the slit is actually super, super high. I think without my belly, which is taking up like a lot of fabric, the slit would probably be like two, three inches lower. So I would say size true to size if you are not pregnant. Um, but it's just, this is one of the few dresses that I've actually purchased that isn't bump friendly. I am wearing my regular size, which is a size small. Because it is knit as well, it just like fits really easily. And I think that if you size up in it because you like want it to be extra comfy, you might lose like the nice fit around the shoulders and boob area. You might get like too much fabric hanging around. So I'd say size true to size. It's such a cute dress, just maybe not bump friendly. So this is the fabric up close. You can see that there is ribbing everywhere and it's this really nice like soft pink, which I feel like would be really flattering for like a lot of skin tones, just because like you can see that I'm quite pale right now, but this like particular pink makes me feel a little bit extra glowy. So next up is this yellow, I wanna say almost marigold, like dress it's super super breezy it actually is a little bit see-through if you look carefully enough especially if you don't wear nude underwear um so i might recommend wearing some sort of slip underneath or even just spike shorts so this is a size small with h&m stuff like especially dresses i've stayed true to size even with the bump um which is probably why this one doesn't fit just because it is a tighter dress but any flowy dress um, that you see online i definitely say size true to size if you even if you are pregnant if you're not pregnant this one you might be able to go down a size because there is so much fabric it just depends on i think how long you want it this is just above my knee i wouldn't go down one more size just because i feel like it would be a little bit too short on me so closer up you can see that's a little bit wrinkly i honestly just don't have the energy to steam it but i think that this is one of those fabrics that will get wrinkly once you sit down in it so that's the only reason why i'm not 100 percent sure if i'm gonna keep it it's 50 percent 51 percent cotton and then the rest is modal so it's super lightweight very very soft but again it's very thin so i don't know if you can see it in camera but in person i can kind of see like the outline of my legs and stuff so slip is definitely necessary. I also really like this button detail all the way down. You can probably have it all the way up like this if you want that vibe. I probably won't do that but um yeah you can have it completely undone as well and just have it more like a beach cover-up. Okay I think it was last year or two years ago I got some sort of like chiffon short sleeve dress from H&M that you guys like all loved um, but obviously they don't make it anymore so I've been trying to find something similar to it and this is actually quite quite similar it just has a long like a long sleeve versus a shorter sleeve but it does have the same like skirt flowy shape this dress I'm wearing in a size small I really like it because it's gonna be great for spring and summer even though it's a long sleeve the fabric is very like chiffon -y. and this one actually comes with a slip it actually is like attached to the dress so you don't have to worry about like the yellow dress like finding a slip to go under it it has like a little um buckle that it goes in to like at the top of the dress i feel like i would like it a little shorter um and like without my belly this one would have been quite long so i might say size down in this one if I can find this one again in an extra small. I might return this and get an extra small just because it is like a dress that's wider with so much material. I just feel like if it's a little bit smaller, a little bit shorter, it might be better. This is the floral pattern up close. Like I love, love this pattern. I love the green and yellow in it. It also has like a hint of blue. I'm just really feeling yellow for spring this year. 
and it does have the buttons like from let's see down here up to here so you could wear it all the way up like this and like kind of have a very cute like prairie girl look but yeah I just feel like this is a little bit too much for me so I think I'm gonna return it but so I thought I'd switch up the shoes these are my Kate Derby boots so good definitely not the H&M price point but they are my luxury riding boot purchase because I like literally wanted a boot like this since I was in like grade nine I feel so I splurged back to this dress this is essentially almost the same shape as the other dress I showed you with slight differences there's a little bit less fabric in the body um it doesn't have buttons up here it has the tie and the like sleeve part is actually elastic I feel like this one is just slightly nicer on just because of the tiny bit of less fabric in it um but still I'm just not vibing I guess these flowy florals as much with my pregnancy um I just I guess it just feels a little bit too much I am wearing a size small in this one so you can probably size true to size or down a size if you're not pregnant definitely do down a size so that um, the dress doesn't end up being too long this one does come with a slip as well which is very handy this is the pattern up close I don't love it as much as the other one it's not as intricate because the florals are a little bit more spaced out and they're blue and purple which isn't totally my vibe but I just wanted to try to find you guys that like similar chiffon dress I got from years ago the dress itself I think is cheaper than the other one I'll link them as long as they still aren't sold out. This is the thing with H&M. Things sell out so quick. By the time they get to me, it's already gone. So I'm hoping some of this stuff is still available. Okay, so if you watched my Zara haul, you saw that I had a similar kind of like racer front back or halter neck dress. It's not actually a halter, but a lot of people call this like a halter neck dress. Um... The Zara ones like come down way too low and like basically cut off half my boob and it's exposed. So I returned that one even though the color was so beautiful. So I decided to try the H&M one. The H&M one is less severe and like just because of the bra I'm wearing today, um, you can see a little bit of it, but it's not too bad. If I wear a racer bra, it's totally fine. So I am keeping this one. Plus it's like this season's sage green color, which is just so beautiful. It's like this very, very light, gr like gray undertone green, which I just think is so pretty and very versatile. Um, and it's a shorter dress. Another thing that I've started to like more are shorter dresses with my pregnancy. Um, I think it just like in terms of proportion wise, it makes me feel taller and leaner and um just better proportions than longer dresses but that's just me i think that this is a super easy dress for anyone pregnant or not for the summer basically like tank top <laughs> that you can just grab and go dress up or down i think it's pretty cute with some of these boots but also i thought i'd show you with like these guys so these are the uniqlo sandals that i showed on instagram stories that i linked like multiple times but i will link again in the description box below <laughs> as long as they're not sold out i'm wearing a size small in them by the way i'm like a size six seven because the sizing is just weird it's extra small small medium large anyways this dress is just so versatile and easy and i think it's pretty cheap i think it's like 15 dollars or something so a good staple to ask your closet for spring summer so i quickly wanted to show you the material up close it's not ribbed it's actually like a smooth fabric which i feel like can sometimes be a little bit more flattering okay so next up is this dress i actually got this one in the h&m plus size um because obviously the bump and i'm wearing a size large so this is like giving me urban outfitters like vintage tea dresses vibes but at a fraction of the price i feel like this was under 20 dollars um i got the led zeppelin one i just wanted a gray one because i felt like the colors were a little bit more fun and i don't have a gray t-shirt dress it kind of looks like the padded shoulder dresses but it isn't um I'm not the biggest fan of the pad shoulders anymore because I find that when you wash it, it just always kind of gets like a weird shape, kind of like when you wash um, bras that have those like inserts and they always get like tangled up. But anyways, this is a size large in the H&M Plus line, especially if you're pregnant, I would say order 
from that line. If you're not, you can order whichever line you prefer, but also size up like two sizes because I just feel like with a dress like that, you want it to be oversized and hanging looser. And I think it looks really cute with sandals like this. Another super easy summer casual dress. Also, while we're in the realm of like muscle tees and dresses, this is another one from H&M. I just ordered a white one as well um, to replace some of my muscle tees that like have shrunken or shrunken because I've grown. So this is in a size medium. Again, it looks like those like padded um, tank tops, muscle tees, like I had one before and fortunately, Sad story, it turned half pink because it got washed next to tie-dye stuff. But like, I just figured that I started not liking it as much. It was just a little bit too bulky around the shoulders. So I love that H&M has this version, which is basically like a normal muscle tee with the fabric folded inside. So you still get a little bit of that structure with a big bulk on the shoulders. So I just say size up. It's a pretty short shirt. So it's not like a longer, oversized top so that's why I say like size up for sure I got it in a white I think it comes in like a pretty lavender and a blue as well so lots of options I think it's just a good staple to have for summer looks good with bike shorts or like tucked into jeans also I just want to show you this whole outfit together <laughs> these shorts are from Lululemon six inch align shorts I'd say grab them now if you can because they always sell it in the summer and they're just super comfy and a good length I think but I got a bucket hat finally. I've been humming and hawing for like, what, two summers now? And this is one is H&M. It's like the yellow color from this link, the link that I will add down below. They have like a black and a white one, I think. But I just thought yellow would be fun. I think the shape like in particular works for me. It's a smaller brim and I'm wearing a size medium. But I just think this is, outfit is really fun and like, I feel like I'm ready for the beach or, you know, push in my baby stroller when it's time. Next up is this oversized shirt. I forget what color this is called, but it's basically like a beigey gray with a hint of green. It's like a, I don't know. But this is in a size medium. I'd say size up a size if you want this look because even though it's called an oversized t-shirt, I feel like if I ordered a small, even without my belly, it wouldn't give me as relaxed of a vibe. I also have it in white because I just loved the shape and how it looked like on the model. So I think I'm gonna grab as many colors of this as I can because it's really hard to find a decently priced shirt that's shaped like this and the material is quite nice. It is 100% cotton as well. So like it takes off so many check marks when it comes to finding the perfect tee for me. I think I should probably do an updated t-shirt essentials video soon because I have a couple of new ones. But yeah, if you're looking for an oversized t-shirt, this is by far one of the best ones I've seen in a while. Okay, so I just switched into the white oversized tee. As you can see, it's exactly the same, just crisp and white. I got an oversized trench coat. This is a size medium from H&M. I think this is just under $100 at $99. Dollars um, for the trench coat video that I'm making. So I'm not going to talk too much about it because I'm going to go into like all the trench coat details in the trench coat essentials video. So stay tuned for that and subscribe and turn on notifications if you haven't already. This one is quite beautiful. I love how heavy it is. Um, I have a couple of trench coats in my collection that are super lightweight, but it just doesn't flow the same way that this does on your body. Like as I walk, you can see how it just hangs. So I like the length of it as well. It's not too, too long, but it's not like an above the knee one. I definitely say size up in this one because the goal of this one is to be oversized. The shoulders droop a little bit on the side. I don't feel like the sleeves are too long. And I got like the darker of the colors. There's like a cream that's an off-white that could be quite beautiful too, but I wanted it to be more of a classic trench coat. So I did this more like beigey, camely colored one. So it is a double-breasted trench coat. It can be double-breasted or single-breasted. Ooh, I think I have my meeting soon, but I think I should be okay. All right, so anyways, this is what it looks like all done up. But again, I have my bump, so it's gonna look different on you guys. It has like the venting in the back and it has this like flap here that's very classic for trench coats. Overall, I'd give this jacket probably like a 7.5 to 8 out of 10. It loses points just because of the material. So I'm gonna show you that up close. 
So this is the material up close. You can see that it has, it's not like a smooth material. It has like these little lines throughout it and it wrinkles quite easily. It's not like your cotton wrinkle. I just feel like up close it doesn't look as expensive and for like $99 at H&M I just feel like it should be super super nice. Yes I could steam it but it does feel like that fabric that's just going to get wrinkly again but I do really really like the details so up to you. You guys can order it and see for yourself because H&M always has great uh, return policies. I just really like how this whole outfit looks to be honest. Last but not least is this Poplin oversized shirt. I'm wearing it in a size medium. Definitely say size up in this if you want it to almost fit like a dress. I'm wearing bike shorts underneath it of course and you can wear this just like open up as like a throw over as well. Um, it does come in a black color which I think I'll also add to my collection because the shape is just so good and the price is so good. I do believe the white one is currently sold out but double check if it has like the notify me um, option because they like they do restock things and that's how I get a lot of my pieces so highly recommend this one just because it's so versatile and you can't go wrong with a hundred percent cotton like poplin button-up I just think I'm gonna be wearing this one a lot and a lot that's why I want it in black because when the baby comes I feel like an all-white shirt might be a little dangerous and that brings us to the end of the haul if you guys have any questions let me know I will link everything um, down below as long as it still exists. I'm so sorry that this keeps happening, but like I think H&M is just so popular that by the time I receive the items, like a lot of the ones I've ordered like are already out of stock. Um, so I know it's heartbreaking for me to show you pieces that don't exist anymore, but a lot of the times they do notify me availabilities. So make sure you sign up for those. Hope you liked it. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram and I will see you next time.